Hello, it's me. It has been about a month since I've made a video on this channel, but in this video, I wanted to give you a tour of my room and desk setup because this has completely changed. I redid it all last weekend because I was, I guess, tired of the setup that I was in. So here we go. And also check out my second channel about money and finance. And one thing to note is throughout my room, you'll see a lot of random crap like this on the wall. And this is because when I was younger, I did something stupid like stick stickers to the wall, which you are definitely not supposed to do. If you see the outline, this is of kind of like a three by three. So when I used to sticker re-sticker cubes, I would take the old stickers and stick them on my wall because I thought it was cool. And clearly, sticker adhesives do not play well with wallpaper. So don't mind that. This is my dresser, there are clothes. And then from left to right, I recently graduated, so I got this cool tumbler, class of 2021. And on top, I have this little graduation ducky. I think I got this in around fifth grade and I wrote a long time ago, look at that handwriting motivation ducky. It seems to work. I graduated. This my sister actually made for me for my birthday. I really, really like it. If you don't already know, I really like musicals and this is like a, I guess a collage of some that I really enjoy. There are a lot more and one recent one to the list is In the Heights. Yeah, it's so good. I saw the movie twice. Anyway, I've got a bunch of Funko Pops. These actually were all gifts, except for these two that I got for myself. This one is Elsa, because Frozen and Disney are awesome. This wasn't an Android one. I probably got it from like a hackathon or some event. This is Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Fun fact, in high school, I was in the pit for Beauty and the Beast, so I know the music pretty well. And this one is really cute. These two are 10 and 11 from Doctor Who. This one is Wonder Woman, and this is Cap and Iron Man. They're supposed to like bobble, like Iron Man's kind of does, but Cap, just has a hard head. Moving left, we've got Betty, or Beatrice as she is better known, or I don't know if anyone knows, but she is alive and well, or at least alive. I don't know how well, because some of these, some of these leaves are dying, come on. Oh my goodness. If you cannot tell, I just watered her. So she's hanging out by the sun, nice view and everything. This one is always fun to show. This is a Wiggles hamper. I probably got it when I was two or three years old and I've had no reason to change it. So I just have Wiggles in my room all the time. And this is a box with a laptop that I have to give back. It's a long story. Over here, I have three posters from Princeton competitions. These first two are a lot older. And also, side note, you can get 5% off at thecubicle.com with discount code Dana, and you can get a bunch of really cool Rubik's Cubes there. Anyway, this one is for my first ever competition. So some of you are older, sorry, older. Some of you are younger than this, aka born after 2010, which is kind of wild to me, makes me feel old again. First competition, I think this may have been my second competition. It was about a year later. And then this one was six years after that in 2017. And I do have one more poster in my room. It's the, you've probably seen this one in the background of a lot of my videos actually, cause that was my old angle. This one is Euros 2018. It feels really not that long ago, but I guess at this point, that's almost three years. Wow, time flies. Like this doesn't feel like 10 years ago or 11 years ago, math. This is a bed, I sleep, and I think I put the fishies on backwards cause they're probably supposed to face the other way. Oh well fishes whoop whoop speaking of fishes i have this fish thingy and i have a lot of random stuff on it this is my high school tassel so class of 2017 some other notable things on here this is me around one or two years old discovering my love for what seems like ice cream and if we've got any other kids out there that had this horrendous bowl cut in kindergarten i think this was what who thought this was a good idea and on this monkey thingy i have this picture is from a comp from probably 2016. And this is me doing karate with my brown belt. So that must have been 13 or 14 years ago. I do have a black belt. I don't do karate anymore, but wow, look how flexible. This is a guitar. I mean, you probably already knew that, but this is my guitar and I've played it. I have a video about it. I really enjoy playing guitar and I leave it out because it makes me want to play more and also because I don't have a case, so I don't have anywhere to store it. But it looks really nice and it motivates me to play when it's out here. This is storage. I will not open because it's kind of boring and also I can open one, let's see. It's a little bit disorganized. This is work computer. This is a capo for my guitar and I leave it here because I used to leave it in one of the drawers, but then I always forgot which one it is because there are six and I always forget which what stuff is where. So I have to look through all of them. So I leave it here. I like to just pick it up, play it for a couple minutes at a time if I'm on a break or something. This is not a trash can nor a MacBook Pro. This is an air purifier. Uh, my room is, has always been really dusty and this really helps. Right now it's off because it does make a lot of noise and I don't want the mic to pick up on that. And it also doubles as a fan. If you'll notice there are like three fan settings which is really nice because it is so, so, so hot over here. Today, the weather went up to like 97 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not quite sure what that is in Celsius, but it, it's too hot. Anyway, 
This is my bookshelf, probably the neatest you've ever seen it, probably the neatest it's ever been. Feel free to look around at the books that I have, but on this shelf in particular, I have cubes because, surprise, I cube. Uh, Rubik's Connected, some Rubik's Speed, a bunch of, not a bunch of, there's one tiny cube there, more books, and bum ba da bum Last thing is the desk of this room. This desk is completely new. I've been wanting to get a standing desk, I guess for years now, and I finally bit the bullet and did it. Uh, I really enjoy it. It is quite large, so it holds everything. And then I guess we can start from the bottom and then go right to left directions. This is a um, mat that you stand on because standing on a hardwood floor hurts my heels and my feet. So this makes it really nice to stand on. Obviously, or I guess not obviously, there's usually a chair here if this is in a lower position. And also I'm like the most annoying thing about standing desks is cable management. I've done a decent job for the most part organizing cables of the actual desk, but these cables here I can't organize more because there needs to be slack so I can pull them out and stuff. So there's forever going to be this 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 hanging mess and a big finger. And if you're wondering what that is, I th I believe it was in elementary school. Uh, I had a slime thingy and I thought it was a good idea to put it on the wall when clearly it's not. It's shaped like a coffin. So there's coffin slime over there. This is a footrest thingy and it really helps my knees when I sit at my desk. Uh, I'm not old, I promise. And there's a box under because I am short. These are my headphones. I love using them to listen to music or just otherwise block out sounds in my house. And as I said, this is a standing desk. So there are three positions. This is one of my sitting positions, I think. So here we go, let's take it up. So it moves, yay. And then I guess I can go from right to left. Uh, this is a notebook and post-its that I use to jot down stuff pretty quickly. This thing I actually did not buy. Someone left it at a hackathon and it was there for a while. So I was like, you know what? If no one is taking this, I guess it is mine now. And it holds a phone. So I can record from this angle. So that would be, you would see like this, I guess. We'll see in future videos. It is in kind of a weird position. I might try and move it around the desk, but for now, it's a really nice place to prop up my camera. If you don't know, how I used to record my old videos is I would put my water bottle or like my speaker here and then prop up my phone like this, which was not a great angle and very hard to adjust. Speaking of, that is a speaker. I've been using it a lot to listen to In the Heights. Amazing show, amazing soundtrack, amazing movie. And this you've definitely seen before, or if you've seen any of my videos, this is my ultra wide monitor. I use it for pretty much everything. It's so nice. You can kind of see my reflection, but it's like a matte e display, so it's not super reflective. And it's on this monitor arm, so it clears up a lot of space and I can move it up, down, left, right, you know, all the cardinal directions. Those aren't, whatever. Here, um, mouse. I've had this mouse for over four years now, I got this before I started college and it has served me really well. You can see the wear. Look how many times I've clicked that button. I have a, what is this? Glorious mouse pad. Nope, this is not a mouse pad. Wrist rest and the keyboard that I've made a couple videos about. It looks like cotton candy, so I really like it. Water bottle because hydration is important. And behind this water bottle, actually perfectly covered by the water bottle, is a wireless charger for my phone. And then we've got a bunch of cables that I can't really hide because I need to pull them out and get longer and stuff. But this is one for my iPad. This is, um, what is this supposed to be? Oh, this is the keyboard to connect to my computer. This is HDMI for the display. And this is USB-C for my laptop and uh, what is it called? My phone. Here I've got iPad, laptop, and this little sucker sticking out here is connected to this, which is a microphone on a boom arm. Also for my old videos, I used to basically just prop it up inside my desk and then record, but this makes it so nice to just pull out and just record like this, put my phone there, and bam, you're set up within like a few seconds instead of taking a few minutes to set up. And that barrier to entry, not barrier to entry, but that barrier being so low to actually record a video makes me want to record more videos. And it's really high quality. It's a little too high quality that I can't record and move it at the same time. Oh, it's stuck to my wallpaper. Whoopsie. Here's a light because darkness. So that was a room slash setup tour. And I'll probably be making videos every other week at this point. I, I'll try to make videos every week, but work is very busy. Life is kind of busy now. So we'll see. Let me know what you think of the space. I'm waiting, but hopefully this does not give you motion sickness. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys within the next couple weeks. Boom. Bye.